In this video, we're going to look at parallel lines. Now, what are parallel lines? Well, as we can see from these three diagrams, in the first one we have rail, a railway line. Well, we can see that these individual railway lines, they are always at the same distance from from each other, right? And then if we look at these yellow road markings, well, they are also always at the same distance from each other. And if we have to look at this sports field, we can see that these lines are always at the same distance from each other. And so parallel lines always are always the same distance from each other. What does it mean mathematically? Well, have a look at these two parallel lines that I've just drawn over here. What it means mathematically is not necessarily that their distances are the same. I mean, these two lines are parallel as well, but their distances aren't the same, or their lengths aren't the same. But what it does always mean is that their gradients are always the same. They always have the same gradient. So please remember, parallel lines have the same gradient. Are these lines parallel? So we're looking at the lines AB and the line CD. So what we do is we go work out the gradient of each line and then we see if their lines, if their gradients are the same. If they are the same, then they parallel because remember we've just said that parallel lines have the same gradient. And remember we do have a gradient formula. So let's see what the gradient of AB is. So AB's coordinates, I'm actually just gonna move that to the side. And so here's AB's coordinates. So I'm going to call A point number 2 and I'm going to call B point number 1 and then I'm going to use the formula exactly as I see it. So the formula starts by saying Y2. So it's the Y value of point number 2 which is that value there which is a 2 minus because the formula has a minus in it. Then it's the Y value of point number 1 which is a 4 over X value of point number 2 is a 3 minus, then it's x value of point number 1, which is a 5. And that's going to give us minus 2 over minus 2, which is 1. So the gradient of AB is 1. Now let's work out the gradient of CD. So for the gradient of CD, I'll call this point number 2, and I'll call this point number 1. And so the y value of point number 2 is 3. Then I'm going to say minus. Then it's the y value of point number 1, which is 6 over the x value of point number 2 is minus 1, minus, and then it's the x value of point number 1, which is 2. And the top's going to give me minus 3, the bottom's going to give me minus 3, and minus 3 divided by minus 3 is 1. And so the gradient of CD is 1. And so because the line AB and the line CD have the same gradient, therefore they are parallel. So they would look something like that. So moving on to number two, where we're going to look at line EF and line GH. So looking at line EF, I'm going to call E point number two and F point number one, and then use the formula. So the Y value of point number two is four minus, then the Y value of point number one is a eight, the X value of point number two is two, and the X value of point number one is four. And if I go simplify this, I'm going to end up with minus 4 at the top and minus 2 at the bottom. And that a minus and a minus is a positive, and that gives you 2. You can also just type all of that on the calculator, and it will do everything for you. So the gradient of line EF is 2. Now we can work out the gradient of line GH. So I'm going to call G point number 2 and H point number 1, and then use the gradient formula. So the gradient formula says Y value of point number 2, which is 5, minus the Y value of point number 1, which is 3, over the X value of point number 2, which is minus 1, minus the X value of point number 1, which is minus 2. And so at the top, you would end up with a 2, and at the bottom, you would end up with minus 1 plus 2 because of the minus and the minus, and so that's going to give us 1. And so the gradient of line GH is also going to be equal to 2 divided by 1, which is 2. And so line GH and EF are also going to be parallel because their gradients are the same. So when two lines have the same gradient, they are parallel.